After the Mayor's March, Interior residents rolled out their sleeping bags over the weekend to attend the 6th annual One Homeless Night event. Follow me to the youth shelter known as The Door to see how residents are bringing awareness to homelessness in Interior Alaska. You don't have a home, you can't shower, you can't bathe, you can't you know, sleep and you're not, you don't really have shelter so it's kind of hard to get out of it. We have a better understanding of uh, how it would be to be a youth um, than those who don't or who are older. These boys from First Presbyterian Church were some of the many youth and adults attending the Fairbanks Youth Advocates One Homeless Night event. One Homeless Night is an event to show how many homeless youth and adults spend their nights. That means cardboard boxes and sleeping bags, but for me... It's just a sleeping bag. The Fairbanks Youth Advocates operates the youth shelter called The Door, which focuses on teen homelessness. The Door can house up to 12 teens at a time. Unfortunately, The Door is currently the only youth shelter in Fairbanks. Executive Director of the Fairbanks Youth Advocates, Mary Lee Bates, says even with the limited number of beds, they would never turn away a child in need. But certainly sleeping outside uh, without sturdy shelter over you is, is certainly what a lot of our folks in our community are experiencing, both youth and adults. We would not turn anyone away if we had to, and especially in the winter. We'd rather them be safe and inside and warm. They might not uh, get a mattress to sleep on, but, um, but we wouldn't turn anyone away. Both Fairbanks City Mayor Jim Matherly and Borough Mayor Carl Castle attended the event. Even on the eve of his birthday, Mayor Castle knew he had to support his community. Happy birthday! Homelessness has even touched Mayor Matherly's family. This is his first time attending an event like this. This event was a no-brainer for me. I remember when Mary Lee Bates, you know, Fairbanks Youth Advocates, came and talked to the council when I was still a councilman. And her idea was just a kernel of hope. I knew that to be an effective mayor and to be a caring mayor, I had to go out and involve myself in these kinds of things. Spending overnight in a box, there's been some fun that we've had decorating them and to setting them up, but really we know it's something much more serious because some people do it more than just once. They do it several times. So to me, to come out to show my support was absolutely the right thing to do. 116 different teens were seen at the door within the last year. According to Bates, 50% of children find a stable situation within a week. Reporting from downtown Fairbanks, this is Julia Loudy.